Welcome to task one. Task one, manage conflict. The enablers in task one, manage conflict are interpret the source and stage of the conflict, analyze the context for the conflict, and evaluate, recommend, reconcile the appropriate conflict resolution solution. Thank you, Emily. Well, when you talk about these three enablers, they're tied to one overarching project task. As you can see on the screen, we have the three enablers, 1.1.1, 1.1.2, .1, 1 .1 and 1.1.3. And we are showing you the project task that these are tied to. And you could tie this to the task, acquire and manage project resources by following the resource and procurement management plans in order to meet project requirements. Now, for those of you who have already been through some content in the PMBOK guide, managing conflict is not new. You do know that in order to move the project forward, you should be managing conflict. But there are a few things that we would like to point out to you really quick as an opener for this task. First of all, you need to understand that conflict is always going to be on the scene. The secret is learning to manage it successfully. And doing so empowers you to take control of your life and career. And then you also need to be aware of what triggers conflict. It could be work methods or issues, personality, attitude, power struggle, perceived unfairness, different values, different opinions, or other reasons. When we talk about organizational causes of conflict, it could be scarce resources, scheduling priorities, personal work styles, work methods or issues. You also need to be aware that there are five stages of conflict, the latent stage where participants are not yet aware of the conflict. There's a perceived stage where participants are aware that a conflict exists. And then we have something called a felt stage where there is stress and anxiety. And then we have the manifest stage where we can actually see this. Conflict is open and it can be observed, could be between two people or more. And then we have the aftermath, which is the outcome of a conflict, which is the resolution or dissolution. So if we go to what Emily just mentioned right now, in the very beginning, we talked about these three overarching things. And the last one is evaluate, recommend, or reconcile the appropriate conflict resolution solution. For your exam, you can expect questions that will test you on what Emily gave you the high level of, which is how are you going to attack the conflict, address the conflict? The PMBOK guide has these five strategies for conflict resolution. You've got compromise or reconcile, making all parties happy, temporarily resolve the conflict, withdraw or avoid, run away, don't address the conflict immediately, smooth or accommodate, emphasize agreement, as opposed to different opinions, force or direct, one party forcing a solution on the other. And we have collaborate or problem solve. In collaborate or problem solve, which we also call confront, we have solutions from both parties being considered and it typically results in a win-win when done correctly. In order to understand this properly, I wanna show you the Thomas Kilman conflict mode instrument. And this just shows you, you could be somewhere in the middle of cooperating or being assertive, compromise or reconcile, or you could be extremely assertive and that's when you use force or direct. You're not in the mood to cooperate with others. You're just looking to get something done, maybe in an emergency, for example, or you have high assertiveness and high cooperation. We have the collaborate or problem solve. Perhaps you are not very assertive. You're avoiding or withdrawing to run away. You do not want to cooperate you're on the other end of the spectrum, or maybe you're thinking all about that other person, that other party, you smooth or accommodate. In other words, you concede whatever your viewpoint is to the needs of someone else. So these are just a few of the things that you need to be aware of and some of the things we're going to be covering in this task. We'll see you in task two.